Oh, Bulbasaur, I love you so much. You know, I really hope nobody comes up and steals you like, uh, any criminals. Because it's not like I couldn't literally just call the police or anything. Nah. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Theories, ladies and gentlemen. Why doesn't Ash ever call the police? Have you ever asked that question? I mean, maybe you really haven't thought about it. It's it's an interesting and unique world, so, you know, it's like, ah, he never calls the police, he just beats up bad guys, right? Makes sense. Okay, so it's a good question, and a large number of people might have asked that question, or, or at least thought about it at least once or twice. And you have to ask the question, why are police even a thing in Pokemon? Especially in the anime, if they never actually do anything. And think about the games as well, how ridiculous the games are also. These gangs, these evil organizations running around wanting to destroy the world, like literally destroy the world, and the police are just like, uh, oh, kids will be kids, boys will be boys, what can we do about it? End of the world, yeah, well. I guess they just don't want to do the paperwork, eh? Well, perhaps this is actually just some form of social commentary on the police force whom are extremely afraid to do the right thing out of their own survival, and that these corrupt cops are extremely afraid to arrest the criminals because they will be killed by those gangs as retribution and revenge for what they did. Or maybe it's just short-sighted on the programming and the writing, who knows, I, I mean, I'm not the writer. So sign in and get ready to join the discussion below as we explore why Ash doesn't call the police. Firstly, let's ask the question, uh, what, what even do the police do in the games? And yeah, it's not a lot. At one point in time, we see the police in Generation 1 outside a house here or there, a detective chasing Team Rocket, but they just seem to literally not do anything. I mean, oh, come on, man. It's Generation 1. Their NPCs are not going to do anything. But couldn't they have written in a narrative that there's actually a police station, a prison, a jail cell, they caught some Rocket gangs? Hey, excuse me, uh, police, did you not notice the little takeover of Saffron City, the entire Saffron City? It's, it's great that you are hot on the heels of Team Rocket there, looker, but, uh, the eight gym leader literally has giant R on his pocket. Gee, you never noticed that he might be involved with Team Rocket? No? Okay. All right. And hey, Seldon City, there are literal Rocket members walking around. Not disguised whatsoever. Like, come on. They're holding whips, for God's sakes. You really couldn't figure out where Team Rocket were? Nope, not at all. Okay, whatever. Generation 2, there was a gatehouse controlled by some rockets as well, and, and the radio towers taken over. They make the smallest attempts to stay hidden, yet somehow uh, the police just turn a blind eye and act like they don't know where Team Rocket is. In Generation 3, there were very few police, and this extends to almost all the rest of the generations where their presence was minimal at best. In the games of Pokemon Sun and Moon, there are police in force, that's for sure. We see them integrated, but again, teams go all pretty ridiculous and run rampant in the Alola region. So why are the police not literally going over to the town that's locked down by Team Skull and stopping them? Why? It's, it's, you know exactly where they are. What are you doing? Oh, but you say, Proto, Team Skull have strong Pokemon. Ah, yeah, man, so strong, so strong. Basically, the equivalent of Team Rocket Grunts having a few Zubats and Ekans. And, and yeah, okay, a few Team Skull members do have strong Pokemon, but like, really? Are you, are you telling me you couldn't stop the bulk of them and, and, you know, deal with the other ones as you see fit? You, you have guns. Come on. You, you telling me you can't even just use a gun? But the police force, as present as they are in the Alola region, uh, one of the police officers is actually a ditto. So. Yeah, maybe not the most effective police force after all, even even with guns. So, there you go. That's the games in a nutshell. People are blind with their heads in the clouds, and uh, one of them's literally a ditto. That said, what about the anime? 
And yeah, that's what we're here for, not the games. Well, obviously I love the Gen 1 anime. I mean, oh man, that's some of the best gems in Pokemon. And, and how I feel uh, about the Indigo League is I, how I think the creator of the series actually envisioned Pokemon before it became so massive. So let me explain the question. Why doesn't Ash ever really call the police when given the opportunity to? Well, maybe he's just one kid, okay? It's a little bit scary, doesn't know what to do, but from the first few episodes, he's always had someone with him. Misty and Brock, and, and even in the later episodes, there's police that are actively looking for the criminals in episodes like Celadon City, where the criminals had stolen a giant vacuum, that being Team Rocket trying to steal Pokemon. We know police are there, and they are active. And you might be saying to yourself, well, that was just one episode where the police were actually doing something. Boy, what about the rest? In another episode, Officer Jenny was seen guarding and protecting land from Pokemon poachers, kind of like a Safari Zone-esque episode. And within two episodes, we see it more than just one instance of the police actually doing something. And there's even an episode that goes into the police academy and how Growlithe are trained. So, yeah, there are police. Why then would Ash deal with Pokemon gangsters personally instead of just grabbing a phone and calling the police? The same police that are shown to have guns, once again. Which, yeah, within the early episodes of the Pokemon anime were pretty serious. There's guns in the anime. Well, that's a good question, and obviously it's to progress the plot and make out a situation where Ash becomes the underdog type of hero. But maybe we can come up with an answer to fit the universe, too. Within the second episode, it is depicted that Officer Jenny gives Ash a rough time about stealing a Pokemon, and uh, we see wanted posters about Team Rocket being on the loose. This shows the intent to capture the criminals with little success, but intent all the same. But all of those incidents are from towns and cities that Ash is not from. So, taking a look back at Pallet Town, we can infer that Ash grew up without police. And this may lead to the common misconception of Ash believing that he must do everything himself. Without a police force of any kind for 10 years in a small village, this lifestyle can lead us to conclude that Ash feels like he has to take care of the problem himself, or he can possibly just do it himself, and that he does not need to ask anyone for help, or he possibly can't ask anyone for help because of the way he was raised. This would line up with the idea that Ash is the hero of the story, and this point is being conveyed within the anime universe. And heroes save the day. Heroes don't call someone else to save the day, especially in these kinds of animes. So it makes sense. That said, Ash has been given many opportunities to call the police and failed to, especially within the second episode, when he first encounters Team Rocket. Nurse Joy contacted another Nurse Joy to transfer Pokemon in an attempt to prevent them from being stolen. And at this point in time, Ash could have contacted the police, which were right down the road as seen earlier in the episode. They were literally right down the road and he didn't bother. And uh, for that matter, Nurse Joy could have done it herself, but uh, she didn't. Why? I don't know. But why? 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 The question keeps being asked. Why aren't you putting these criminals in jail? Why? Well, besides the hero idea, most people in that world seem to not have to deal with crime that often. In that world, most people are portrayed as good people with very few bad apples, and it's mostly a good place, which leads to the notion that many people would have no idea how to deal with situations like this. As aforementioned, the Team Rocket attacks maybe would uh, confuse some people, like Nurse Joy. So combine that with the fear of loss and failure, and you can see how people would rather defend themselves immediately instead of just calling the police. Ash falls into that category, once more, being the hero of the story, he must be shown always leading the charge and doing the right thing. And it's not like Team Rocket haven't ever been put in jail, or, or were not caught, because they have been. Yeah, several times. There was even a joke where they had found a penny once, and Officer Jenny had spoke with them about it face to face, but didn't arrest them, they just ran away. I mean, they didn't really run from Jenny, he just, like, basically ran away and she didn't arrest them. I don't know why. Man, everyone's just blind Team Rocket, I swear it's like the uniform turns you invisible. What is this, a cloaking device from Metal Gear Solid? Ladies and gentlemen, Ash is the hero, and Team Rocket are the villains, and the hero defeats the villains, right? Ash never dealt with the police before, 
Ash did everything himself, and Ash portrayed in a way to the viewers to see him in a certain light. So I hope that helps people to understand, and I hope you did enjoy the video. So please make sure to like and share the video, and if this episode wasn't enough for you, I have a playlist dedicated to hundreds of Pokemon theories waiting for you to watch. So, check into it. I've been your Spurnamari, and I'm signing out. As always, good gaming, God bless, and I'm off to single-handedly defeat a criminal organization. Where'd that bolster go that I threw? I'm, I'm gonna need it. I'll see you guys in the next Pokemon theory. Bolster!